Hey everyone, welcome to Botland recap number 33. Let's start with some of the visual changes. First, your bot's names now show in the arena, as you can see here. For your opponents in Botland, you'll still see just their account names like you used to even for your own bots before this. There are eight new sets of bot graphics, and you can see that I just named the bot after the family name here. So we have Blender Bot, Sewing Machine, Rice Cooker, Ninja, Anglerfish, Seahorse, Sea Monster, and Boat. One of the nice new changes is that you could always, as you were placing bots, see an X when there was an invalid tile, or see the silhouette of the bot when it was valid. But what you couldn't see before was this text saying that you were at the maximum. And we can see up here that we were at nine out of nine placed. This helps alleviate some of the confusion that there might have been. For example, when you're placing chips, you might try placing one here and then placing the next one. While it's valid, you're just at the maximum number of chips, so you can't place that. Bots also take out their weapons before firing them. I'll enter test mode so that you can see this, but it's relatively quick. They take out their weapons and then they'll keep them out until they fire a different weapon. I'll show you a little more clearly using this art tool that I made for testing out bot combinations. You'll see them swap weapons every five seconds. The old one will disappear and the new one will fade in. You can also see some of the new combinations of bots. We now have 37 different bot families. These can be unlocked using bot coin in the game or by opening salvage packs. And if I turn off weapons here and click random a few times, you'll see some cool combinations. You'll see some cute combinations. You'll see ones that don't make any sense. These are all things that you can customize in the game. The last thing I want to show you is some of the tutorial. A lot of time went into refining this as much as possible, and there's still some work to be done. This is what you'll see as a new player in Botland. It tells you what the game is all about and gets you started on your first defense. A nice feature of the tutorial is that we can guide your attention to specific parts of the page. Skipping ahead a little bit, let's see what it's like in the tutorial to customize your first blueprint. It says, start by dragging lasers from the right onto the level three selector that appears. As a new user, I'll probably remember the part about lasers, but let's say that I forgot or I'm confused and I drag missiles over instead. I'll get a helpful message here that keeps me on track. I've tested this on real people who've never seen the game before, and overall the tutorial is pretty effective. One of the difficulties of Botland from a usability perspective is that most people, even gamers, probably have not played a game quite like Botland. Automated games are relatively niche. And that's why I think it's important that new players are eased into the game as smoothly as possible. Finally, speaking of new players, I'm planning to launch the beta of Botland in September 2017. And that's when the game will be online 24 seven for everyone to play and hopefully have fun and show me what kinds of crazy strategies you all come up with. If you wanna find out more about Botland or even play it before beta, you can go to my Twitch channel at Adam13531. Thanks for watching.